Hey guys, it's Spiros from The Self-Help Photographer. Today is Tuesday and we're gonna to continue to build on what we started last week. We're talking about raw photos. And in order to turn a raw into a usable image, you have to process this. What you need to do is process the files using a piece of software. And today, I'm gonna to take you through a basic processing routine. Now, there are lots of software options for doing this. And the walkthrough we're going to do today is using Adobe's Lightroom 4 software. You don't have to buy software to do this, however. With your camera, you received a disk that should have software on it that will allow you to process RAW files. You can use that if you want to. I don't recommend you do because typically it's not very good software. Now the upside is all of the stuff we're gonna do in Adobe's Lightroom are the same sorts of settings that you can change in other RAW processing software. So you can take this information and apply it to different software pieces if you choose not to lose Lightroom. Before we actually sit down at the computer and I begin the screencast in the software walkthrough, I just want to run down the basic adjustments we're going to make. These are by no means the entire set of adjustments that are available, but this is a good place for you to get started in processing your own RAW files. What we're going to do is adjust the white balance, the exposure, we're going to adjust the highlights and the shadows of the image, we're going to adjust the clarity, vibrance, and look at the saturation, and then we're going to sharpen the image and learn how to export it as a a TIFF or a JPEG file. So let's get to the computer. If you want to download the trial and follow along, also in the description are links to download the raw files that I'm actually going to work on in the video so you can follow along with exactly what I'm doing. All right, guys, if you haven't installed the Lightroom trial and you want to follow along, use that link down below. Just Now, I'm actually going to do two versions of this. I'm going to do a really quick version, and then I'm going to do the longer version if you want more explanation of some of the stuff that's going on. We're starting in Lightroom in the library module to import our photos. And when you import photos, you just click this import button down here. And what I recommend you do is grab a couple of raw files to test with. If you wanna follow along with me, download the files from the description and you can work with the exact same files that I'm working with. Now I'm gonna hit import and this opens the import window here. And I have my files in this raw folder on my desktop right here. So when I click here, you can see I've just got two photos because we're just testing things out with this trial software. And you've got these photos checked. You just hit this import button and it imports the photos into Lightroom. And once you get in here, you've got your general layout. You've got your folders over here, you've got your images in the middle, and you've got your tools and other information over on the right hand side here. And to process a photo and start working on it, you need to select the photo you want to work on and go into what Lightroom calls the Develop Module. And this gives you access to all of the tools that are available. Now, I'm not going to go through every single one of these tools. And the ones that I use, I'm going to go through really quick. What I want to stress to you guys is that you can play with these. It's really easy. All you got to do is mess around with the sliders. When you make a change, when you drag a slider around, you can see immediately what happens to your image. So I'm going to start with the white balance adjustment to correct the color of the image. And when I say correct the color, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just warm up the image. Because when I shot this, I shot it in the sun, and I want that warm, glowy look that you get to the image. And you can see when I drag this over to the right, things get warm and glow. The next thing I'm gonna do is take the exposure and turn up the exposure. I'm gonna go up by one and a half stops or thereabouts, I'm at 1.5. And you'll notice that when I do that, this thing got overexposed. And what I love about RAW is I can recover that detail by changing this highlight slider. So now, if we just take a quick look, this is my before image. I've just made a couple of adjustments and you can already see a dramatic difference. I've got detail and color in the foreground that I didn't have before. I've got detail and brightness in here, even though I overexposed the image and I've warmed it up significantly. The next thing I'm gonna do is use the shadow slider to bring even more color into this foreground here because I want this green to really show up. And then I'm gonna adjust the contrast of the image with the contrast slider. After that, I'm going to come down here to the clarity slider, which appears to sharpen the image, but is actually kind of like a micro contrast. And then I'm going to take the vibrance and I'm going to turn that up a little bit. And if I crank it way up, you can see the, the effect it has. Again, just play with these sliders, move them around until you see something you like. And when you see what you like, let that setting be where it is. I usually don't adjust saturation and I'm going to jump all the way down now to sharpening. And you'll notice that these little 
uh, items have little triangles here to open and close them. So if you don't see some of these tools that I'm using opened up, just click the little triangle and it will open things up. The next thing I want to do is sharpen the image and I'm going to click this image to magnify it so I can look at my detail. Particularly, I'm interested in the dandelion fluff here. And I'm going to take the sharpen slider and I'm going to crank it up until I like the look of it, which is about 50 here. The radius, I'm just going to move around until I like what I see. I'm going to go about 1.4 there and I'm going to leave detail and masking alone and then I'm going to slide over here and I'm going to make a noise reduction adjustment to try to smooth this out a little bit. If I do too much noise reduction I can actually reduce the impact of the sharpening that I did before and I don't want to do that so I'm going to make a very small noise adjustment there and you can see that I still have noise here but I'm okay with that. So now as I back it out this has gone really fast but you can see that I have taken this raw file and I have done what the camera typically does for you without asking you what it should look like. Now I've processed this image and I've made it look the way that I want it to look. Now that I've done that, I need to get this out of Lightroom so that I can do something with the image. And what we want to do is export this into a JPEG file so that we can share it or do something with it. And I'm gonna set it up so that we can export it to Facebook. What you do is go under File and Export, and there's a whole bunch of options here, and again, I'm gonna cruise through them real fast. First, you're gonna choose Export to Hard Drive, and you wanna export it to a specific folder so that you know exactly where the file is. My folder is Desktop. Just click Choose here to pick whichever folder you want on your computer. And then I am going to put it in a subfolder called Facebook, and you can type whatever you want in here. You could, I'm not going to rename the image. I am going to make sure that it's set to be a JPEG, and I'm gonna set the quality to 80 so that it's not a huge file. And then I'm going to resize the image to fit the long edge to 1,000 pixels. And then I'm gonna set the resolution to 72 pixels per inch. This is a perfect resolution for Facebook sharing for computer screens. And then I'm going to check to sharpen the image for the screen, which is just gonna add a teeny bit more sharpening. And when you're done with those settings, ignore everything else and just hit export. And when you do that, it's going to create a JPEG file for you. So if we go to the desktop, we see that now I have this folder called Facebook. And if I go into that folder, I now have this image that I can do something with, this JPEG image that I can use for whatever purposes that I want to use. Okay guys, I know that was really quick. Remember, if you want to see the long version of this rather than the short version, click the link in the description down below or click this annotation right here. Do me a favor and let me know in the comments how you like this. Do you want me to do more screencasts? Do you want to learn from me how to do Lightroom and Photoshop and Photoshop Elements and things like that? Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and you guys know what I'm going to say. The most important thing is that you get out there and take some damn photos. I will see you on Thursday. <sighs>